Welcome back, everyone. And Mike Zimmer in his first offseason as head coach, really with the point of emphasis being on the defensive side of the ball, as many expected, and most notably shoring up that defensive line. Look, he had a free agent in Everson Griffin that he re-upped all right, last week. Now he moves his attention to the defensive tackle spot today, the first day of free agency, and signs Linville Joseph, the former defensive tackle of the New York Giants. And they signed Joseph to a five-year, $31 million deal. So what are you getting in Joseph? You're getting a guy who doesn't turn 26 until October, a guy who started 46 of the last 48 games for the Giants, a guy who will average for you between four and five sacks a year. He's had 10 in his last three seasons with the Giants. So you get a guy who's a prolific run stopper, who has stayed relatively healthy, who's 26, and oh, by the way, can also give you a little bit in the form of a pass rush as well. And the thinking is they'll team up Linville Joseph with Sharif Floyd uh, at the defensive tackle spots. And of course, you had Brian Robeson, uh, who started last year at DN for the Vikings. And also now, obviously, Everson Griffin will be pushed into a more prominent role after signing that huge contract here a couple days ago. So that's going to be the, the defensive line for the Vikings. Young, athletic, and guys, they're going to build that defense around because certainly some suspect areas uh, in the linebacking core and in the secondary of this defense. But if you think of Mike Zimmer's defense in Cincinnati, it all started with that prolific defensive line that they had, led by the likes of Michael Johnson, Geno Atkins, Carlos Dunlap, and D'Amato Peco. So, look, I like this young offensive uh, defensive line, rather, that the Vikings are building here under Zimmer. I think it's a good start. Now, they spent a lot of money here between Griffin and, of course, um, today with Joseph. But I think, uh, especially in Joseph's case, he's the guy who's going to live up to that deal. And look, by the end of that deal, he's only going to be 30, 31 years old. So he'll spend most of his, or all of his prime, okay, presumably in a Vikings uniform. And that's really what you're trying to capture here in free agency. Get the most out of a guy for the money that you're going to spend on him. And I know Vikings fans hope that he can solidify uh, that run defense, which was really bad last year for the Vikings. Guys, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think of the signing. Hit me up on Twitter as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Guys, I'm covering these signings wall to wall here. Um, you know, it's completely free to subscribe. Thanks as always for listening and have a great night.